I'm the one that always gets screwed, and that mattress or pin or whatever this pin is called. So definitely those Sportster. I need to be using. Saturday, just chilling, planning the day. I don't know, maybe I'll just go out and put some uh, stickers on my Sportster. I don't know. Guys, I'm driving to pick up my daughter from a sleepover and I just can't get over these uh these colors i'll show you as we're driving i'll show you the color of the trees it's amazing amazing now. How pretty are these colors? How pretty are these colors? I think it's the prettiest, uh, prettiest time of the year, except for my uh, my birthday. It's real, no editing. Wow. I'm 52 years old. My bones are really old. I just uh, pulled my map, my back, pulled a muscle on my back. Been kind of, I wasn't functioning for a few days. I had to go uh, to my chiropractor, and I actually, for the first time ever, went for uh, acupuncture. Boy, that hurt, but it felt good. So, and how did that happen? Well, old bones and. I don't know, a cold, warm temperature. Traveling down actually uh, in John's truck to Cycle, Cycle Fanatics Mobile, down to Georgia. He likes to keep the cabin cold at, I don't know, like 68. And then he runs the heated, uh, and I'm cold, 68. So I run the, the uh, seated, I mean the heated seats. So the body is cold, my back is warm. And then I go out to Georgia temperatures where it happened to be very cold that time that movement from uh, cold to warm temperature cold warm cold warm i guess that messes up the body and i like uh warm temperatures i was brought up pretty much uh i'm a desert guy i like uh warm warm temperatures look what happened at the hotel with uh, when we were traveling again he killed us with the heat this guy over here this mama luke look at this guy i, I share the heat <laughs> You know what, while I'm editing, I just realized these guys always give me the worst bed and it's the, the thin paper, paper thickness mattress at the hotel. I'm the one that always gets screwed and that mattress was terrible. That's also one thing that screwed up my back. I'm just, I'm just finding, I'm just remembering while I'm editing the video. Let's go, let's go get a cup of Joe and then we And then I installed the the mid controls on my Sportster. So I, when I was bending down, I pulled something and I felt one of those, you know, where you feel electrical, uh, uh, like an electric current going through the spine all the way up to your, from your back all the way up to your brain. And you're like, ah, oh, what just happened? Anyway, it's about time for me to get, uh, to get a jack for my, uh, for my uh, motorcycle, for the Harley, so I don't have to bend down and do all that stuff. And I was looking at jacks around, uh, got all kinds of recommendations I've seen. I've checked uh, Toll's videos, I've checked Cycle Fanatics videos, I've checked uh, Robert Simmons, uh, fana uh, Robert Simmons uh, videos. He was talking about the OTC, John was talking about Harbor Freight Cheap One, Toll was talking about the Harbor, Ch Harbor Freight Cheap One, talking about the JNS. 
and I think I'm gonna go uh, get gonna go to Harbor Freight to get the the cheapest one, get the most bang for your buck from that one, um, and talk about inflation. Look at the price that John and Tall paid for this. I don't know, ten, eight months ago, and look at the price now. It's just like eight, twelve months. I'll do the math very soon once I see their actual videos. This is a thousand pounds. No, this one holds up fifteen hundred pounds too. Anyway, or this one for a hundred. And that's 10 20 percent more expensive in such a short period of time that is ex that is inflation and don't believe what they tell you on the on the news oh yeah it's only like six percent dude that is 10 20 percent inflation in less than a year price ticket yeah. don't believe what they tell you about the cpi cost uh, priced index consumer price index yeah. Yeah. they're lying to you need that for the oil change for one second there's like beautiful uh, sky sun and two minutes later clouds open up and rain like crazy uh we just i just got back uh actually i'm driving back from harbor freight all the stuff in the back right there we're gonna get back and i don't think i'm gonna put it together because my lower back is still killing me but you go in for just like a, a motorcycle jack and you come back with three different items uh those you know those last minute uh, traps at the checkout all the goodies on the right side, on the left side. Oh, just two, three dollars for candy, two, three dollars for this charger, two, three dollars for one item that you don't really need and you just pick up all that garbage. So we'll be home very soon. Got back home, gonna wait inside till uh, the rain stops. Uh, brought the stuff into the garage. My wife helped me, we dragged it. My back is killing me. Pop one of these. And now uh, wait for the rain to stop and go back into the garage to assemble. A few moments later. There it is. Actually, I think I'll actually start by assembling this so I can sit on it. And then it's going to be easier to work on this. I got to clean up this place. It's such a mess. All this kid's stuff that I have here. Pittsburgh ATV motorcycle lift. I'm just gonna put it together and show you uh, how it works. Actually, it's a very simple install. You've got the structure itself, which is the jack, uh, you know, the table, let's call it, and the piston, the actual jack, the hydraulic jack goes over here. This is the hydraulic jack. There's two mounting. Uh, bolts that would go here and right here in the back. They're gonna be situated right here. Eventually, this pedal is gonna be connected right in here and moving it up and down is what's gonna move this jack, uh, the piston up. And this is the lowering valve. You press on that and that will uh, release the hydraulic pressure from here. These two, this uh, this rod over here fits into here. So let me show you how it's uh, assembled. It's pretty easy. And of course there's uh, these locking legs, bolts that go on the bottom. I'll figure them out, I'll find them very soon. I think they go somewhere here or in the back, but I'll find that very soon. One last thing is the uh, safety stop. It's this, I don't know, U or whatever uh, shape you want to call this. And that's going to go right here. Right where I'm putting it, right there. 
one on each side here and here. So let's uh, let's do it. Right there. And the bolt goes right in there. Before you can put these bolts in, you got to locate this rod like I showed you before. This rod in here. Put that in. Give this a little angle. And then you're able to put the base in. Now once it's uh, situated, you can go ahead and put in these bolts. One here and one down here, right there. And right there. Now with an Allen wrench, just screw it in. Once you got that installed, remember to place this bolt, this safety bolt that holds the rod in place for it not to move. So tighten that. Of course, use an Allen, an Allen key for that. Tighten it by hand and at the end with an Allen key right there. Well, I actually found the area where these guys go right here by the base over here. Drill it in, not drill it in, just screw it in and it fits all the way and the other side same thing not enough light over here it's getting really dark outside okay next step it's uh let's put the connecting connecting rod between this point and that point for the safety lock There you go, it fits. Now put the, the nut on that side, right here on the bottom, right there. Okay, next step, pedal goes in right here, right, right there. Oh, there's the bolt. Oh, this little bolt or screw actually that needs to come out. It goes in. There you go. Secure the screw back in. And then tighten it with a screwdriver. Okay, so it's working. Now you got better access over here to tighten to tighten this. Okay, last step is connecting this handle right here. Take this uh, pin out, cotter pin, I think we call it, and then this pin. This goes in here. I gotta put the camera down, but this goes exactly in the hole that is in here. Let's do that. Like so. And now, the safety or cotter pin or whatever this pin is called it's in now get this off or just keep it if uh... and that's it you're done i'm gonna take it out tomorrow uh it's dark outside already as you can see so i'm gonna take it out tomorrow and see how the bikes uh sit on this thing and give it a run the next day.
Obviously this bike have to come from around. Let's go around. Start with this. Let's see how this works out. Nope. No good. Gotta hold it initially. There you go. Is it rising? Yep. Let's get that. So definitely the Sportster, I need to be using, uh, let's do it halfway. Gently lower it into the safety stop. There you go. It's on. So this, the Sportster definitely, I have to use the straps. Or at least make sure, oh, it's nice and steady actually. Uh, it needs to need to make sure that it's uh, initially when I tilt, because I have uh, the higher suspension over here. I think it's 15, 15 inch, so the, the bike is leaning very uh, steep, very steep lean. The angle is very sharp, so when I try to lift it, it's, it's attempting, it's trying to fall, so I need to pull it in a little bit. Once it's on, uh, sitting on the, on these two bars, then it lifts no problem. Uh, and from here on, it's nice and steady, sturdy. Yep. So this one works. Let me get this safety, safety bar up. Oh, it won't come up. I need to lift it first. There we go. Now it's up. Secure it. Now gently press the pedal over here. And it comes down, down, nice, slowly, just like, actually, Robert Simmons likes. <laughs> and there you go. Nice job. Let's move it out of the way and bring uh, the heavy, heavier electric glide. There you go. Try the other side. Okay, obviously the front is, is rising, it doesn't seem like it's uh, centered. Oh, it is, it is up in the air. Did I get it? Well, I definitely need to get the back, uh, the back. I need to put it a little bit further to the back. So let me lower that and do that again, put it further back. That's it, that looks like the right spot. Ah, oh, looks much better now. I can feel it. Balanced. Okay, that's the first stop. That's the first safety. Let me just check. That's the second safety. Oh, it's nice. Now it's balanced, definitely balanced. See, it's in the middle right here. Piston, it's secured. Nice, nice. Okay, nice. Good for oil changes to clean it up. Just show you what it looks like from close up right there on the bottom sitting nicely positioned 
no problem whatsoever. Very nice. How sturdy is this? Well, it's just sitting on, on those two, uh, on that platform, on those two bars, on the frame. If I would do any uh, heavy wrenching, serious wrenching, I would definitely tie down from here, strap to the bar. And on the other side, and of course to the back as well. So yeah, looking really good. Now let's lower it. Let's see how it, uh, how fast and how uh, steady it comes down. You just make sure the jack is down so we don't have any surprises right there. Now let me pump it up so I get it out of the safety. Jack it up. One, two, three. Secure the safety on the click over here. Now slowly press it down and it comes down nice nice and slow actually it's good no surprises and it's down and it's done very very cool very cool hey pico very very cool Okay, this silly, yeah, you see this silly uh, camera right here is giving you the point of view that you see I'm using the Insta Go to. And Pico, you don't like this? You you don't like this? Say goodbye to everybody because they're watching Holy Holy Shift. You are Pico, say, I'm Pico and you're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out.